Hey everybody, what's up? It's Russ, and I just want to challenge you this week with the subject, the thought of the enemy of but. You say, Russ, what in the world are you talking about? The enemy of but. We on the Monday morning jump start talking about some but. No, I'm no, I'm not talking about that. Get your mind out of the gutter. I'm talking about the enemy of but. For example, I was gonna study for the test, but I didn't. I was going to hit the gym, but I didn't. I was going to take my wife on a date, but I chose not to. I was going to start the diet, but I didn't. And see, the thing is, we all have experienced this before, and a lot of times we don't even realize it until we get to the end. We get to the end of the semester, we realize we should have studied for that test, but we didn't. So now we're having to suffer the consequences. Or we get to the doctor's office and they say, you, you, your health is, is really bad. And you all of a sudden start evaluating your life and you say, oh, I never went to the gym. I said I was going to and I never did. I never started that diet. I said I was going to, but I never did. And we don't realize it until later on in life. Or we lose our loved ones in a car accident. We lose our loved ones um, in some kind of accident that we didn't plan on. And we look back and we start looking deep down and we go, man, I wish I had made, I had done what I thought about when I thought about it. And I didn't put it off by saying, but. And so often, that's what we do with our life. We procrastinate. We just put it off. And so what I want to challenge you guys with this week is to look at your life through the lens of vision. And think about it in turn. Before you make a decision, you say, is this something that I can put off the other stuff that I'm thinking of right now? Like, for instance, I should study. I want to be on Facebook. I want to be on Instagram. I want to be on Twitter. I want to see what everybody else is up to. But before I do that, can I take a couple hours real fast and study? And then I'll be glad I study and I can enjoy seeing what everybody else is up to on Facebook and chatting with my friends. Would I rather... Uh, go ahead and take a few extra moments to plan my meals out. Take a few extra moments out and get to the gym and get a little exercise going. Or wait, instead of waiting until I get to the end, to I get to the doctor's office and they tell me that I should have done it. I'll be glad in the end when I get to the doctor's office and I get that report that says, Hey, you're in great health. What have you been doing? And you're like, Oh, Doc, I've been at the gym. Doc, I've been planning my meals. I've been eating right. And you'll be glad you did that. And it'll just put you in a successful mood. It'll put you in a successful mode that you can then go help other people through the situation. Or you get to the end. If for some scary reason you do lose your loved one, at least you can be happy knowing that at least you spent time, quality time while you could. Instead of just going home and being a bum, instead you were able to spend quality time with your loved ones. And so I, I really just want to encourage you with that this week. Don't, don't fall prey to the enemy of but. And share this with other people so they don't fall prey to the enemy of but. You're awesome. I'll see you next week. Have a great week. See ya.